as I was doing more research on supplements, came across Cura Life. A very simple packaging, so I looked into it. I'm a pharmacist. Welcome to Track MTN. And I like how it's very simple. One ingredient, curlin. That's what it says. Natural blood sugar support supplements. Powerfully helps to support healthy pancreatic beta cells functions. Promotes long and short-term healthy balanced blood glucose levels to reduce, let's say, cravings for sugar and other carbs and promotes high daily energy level. Also supports the pancreas, the liver, and the kidney health. And promotes, of course, weight loss. Are you curious about what curlin is? Curious cura, get it? <laughs> anyway, it's a 100% natural glucose support supplement for people looking to maintain, let's say, their blood sugar levels. And of course, enjoy life and boost up your energy level. Blending ancient practices with modern science technology into something spectacular. That's what's claimed on their website. It's manufactured close to the source, blah blah blah, premium ingredients, secret production, which each capsule highly potent and safe can assure you of the highest quality and safest features. So I thought curlin is the main thing. But no, it was not with one ingredient. I was wrong. If you scroll down to towards like the middle or the bottom, it says nine powerful natural ingredients combined into one capsules. Hmm. I feel like I'm being cheated. Like at first you're telling me curlin, curl life, like it's just it sounds or seems like there's only one ingredient because you're all talking about benefits, what it does, claims that. And then if you scroll down, you get all the nitty gritty stuff and say, hey, wait a second, it's nine ingredients instead of just one. So yes, I feel short change. Anyway, let's go over the nine ingredients. At least they list it, what they are. The first one is Swartida Chirata. No kidding. That's exactly what it says. It's a purple flower containing active compounds that promote cellular glucose metabolism, release insulin from the pancreas, and keeping a healthy rate of glucose absorption in the digestive system. Next one is amla. We already know what that is. Indian gooseberry to help with the function of pancreatic cells. Turmeric. Okay, that's pretty common. Bitter melon is a type of melon very useful in Asia, and I consume it too. It promotes, let's say, pancreatic cells, supports the glucose absorption and sensitivity of the muscle cells to the insulin. I don't know about all that, but I do consume it on a regular basis. Next one is cinnamon. It's like cinnamon. Fancy name for cinnamon. Weight loss promotes healthy blood glucose, blood sugar, nervous system. Next one is fenugreek. Fenugreek. Contains fiber that promotes insulin production, releases, and sensitivity. Healthy rate of carb absorption in the digestive system. Oh, it's kind of hard to say. Picrohiza coroa. As an antioxidant that promotes healthy liver, protecting it from toxins. Liver is supposed to de detoxify stuff, so I guess this helps. I'm confused. Like, it keeps going back, like, glucose and weight. I mean, yes, obesity can add to diabetes, but, like, make up your mind. Like, are you trying to target people mostly of glucose or mostly of weight loss? Like, don't go half seas on both. Like, which one? Which one? Just take your pick. Moving on. Next one is CCGM Kamini. Yeah, we're just going to go with that. Something about reservoir for glucose macromolecules. Gymnema Silvestre. It's going to manage cravings for carbs and helps insulin releases. So that's the last of it. So there are nine total. A lot of these herbs, I've never heard of. Reservations about this product? Of course. Here we go. First off, I'm confused
confused. Like I mentioned before, is this for glucose or is it for weight loss? Because people who come for these kind of products, you're serving two different kind of populations. People are searching for supplements that do different things. Weight loss is not the same thing as diabetes, okay? Second of all, when we talk about glucose and metabolism and all that, or what's claimed to be, you know, helping with diabetes, are we talking pre-diabetes? Are we talking about when people have diabetes or like a long-term diabetic patient? Very, very different. So without knowing your glucose level, I don't know how you are going to handle this product as a consumer. Because let's say you're already on a diabetic medication and then you take the supplements in addition to it, hoping that it will help. Not a good idea. Like I said, you don't know how much this supplement is going to affect your glucose level. If you're taking medication and supplements on top of that, you're looking at maybe compounded effects. Like who knows, it could help your glucose to go down, it might not budge at all, or it might fluctuate. So that's why I would say if you already have a, um, an existing medical condition, definitely should seek medical advice. If you're just a regular healthy adult, no previous medical condition and you're curious about this what it does like to help with energy level and weight loss and all that maybe you're looking at it from a different perspective perhaps your glucose level is normal then yes you might be able to try this but still again like I don't Oh, I'm just so hesitant on recommending you guys any kind of supplements that I don't feel comfortable. We don't know that much about it. And like companies are just popping left and right, like different products here and there. And as a consumer, you're just sitting there saying, well, what do I choose from? Like there's like a sea of supplements out there that the FDA doesn't have resources to monitor and keep track of. For a bottle of 90 capsule, Curlin is actually about $42 for 30 day supply. Now for 60 day supplies, you're looking at not quite double, but about $75. I mean, I've seen supplements that are a higher price point and lower price point. This is just kind of like barely hitting it in the middle ground, but still like for supplements, that's about like $45 for a month. No, no, just I'm, I'm foreseeing a lot of issues with diabetes and the glucose claims and weight loss and all that. They can't claim that, you know, it helps with it treats or cure diabetes or anything like that. But they're kind of like insinuating that helping to control your blood sugar this somehow will link to, you know, diabetes. They didn't really make the claim so blunt, but it's definitely insinuated. It's actually comical because typically, you know, you have like testimonies on the website about your products. And one of the testimonies I read was very simple, just two sentences. And it said, it started with my manager and now four of us are on it. My doctor say, give it a try. I don't know which doctor you go to, but your doctor wouldn't just say give it a try without running some kind of test and like looking into the ingredients uh, and checking your blood glucose first. I don't know. I just don't know. And <laughs> that sounds like a careless doctor to me. And if you notice, nowhere on the website does it mention that you should monitor your blood glucose. Even though this claims to help with your blood glucose, nowhere does it say you should be monitoring it to see if there's any kind of effects that are associated with this product. Nowhere. What does that tell you? We're going to sell you stuff, but who cares if you monitor yourself? Yikes. <laughs> it's really, really... I do honestly enjoy 
these health claims that these companies make and typically it's like out of almost nowhere like they have no data to back it up they have no evidence no clinical trials and yet they're like oh it helps with this and that like we don't care about your health about monitoring your side effects your symptoms but these are our claims what it's going to do with this product and give us your money monthly on a monthly basis and hopefully it works for you that's how i see it <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy all that you have a good one bye